When a child joins the Secure Family account, one of the onboarding screens asks if you want to prevent the AT&T Secure Family app from being deleted. The child or adult setting up a child's device should enable this restriction to ensure the child's device will remain connected to Secure Family. On Android child devices, you're prompted to go to the accessibility settings. If prompted to first turn on administrator permissions, tap allow, then open downloaded services or installed services and select secure family companion. Tap the toggle to turn the accessibility permission on. If prompted to confirm the use of secure family companion to monitor your actions and retrieve window content, tap OK. With the Secure Family Accessibility permission enabled, the child is unable to uninstall the Secure Family Companion app. If they try, a screen appears saying they cannot uninstall the app. If the child tries to toggle off the accessibility permission in their device settings, an unable to access accessibility screen appears and the child will be unable to successfully complete the action. Secure Family also requires family members with child profiles to install the Secure Family VPN on their device to support parental controls. With the accessibility permission enabled, if a child tries to access Secure Family VPN settings or remove the VPN in their Android device settings, an unable to remove VPN screen appears and the child will be unable to successfully complete the action. Secure Family keeps parents informed of app evasions in several ways. If the child does manage to uninstall the Secure Family Companion app or the VPN on their device, a notification is sent to family members with admin profiles of a possible app evasion. Parents can then check the child's device and reinstall the app or VPN. If the VPN disconnects for any reason, Secure Family automatically re-enables the VPN within 15 minutes of it being disabled. Parents are sent another notification once the VPN reconnects. Family members with adult profiles will see additional indicators if the VPN is disabled or uninstalled on a child's device. On the Family Map and Family Hub, an exclamation mark icon displays on the child's profile avatar. This same icon also appears on the relevant device in the Devices section of the child's profile details, along with a Parental Controls Disabled banner at the top of the screen. Parents can tap Learn More in the banner for information on how to re-enable the VPN on the child's device. Parents can also view the VPN status by navigating to the device details screen for the child's device. If there's a problem with the VPN, the status field displays a red icon and check VPN device. Tap check VPN device for information on how to re-enable the VPN. Once the VPN reconnects, the exclamation mark icons and banner disappear from the child's profile details. The status field on the device details screen now displays a green icon and VPN active, indicating that the VPN is working correctly.